Climbed up in the morning mist, awaiting the starting gun, are the world's best bass fishermen. Baseball, football, tennis, and golf were designed originally for pure enjoyment. So was angling. Now angling, too, has its profession. Star fishermen who are highly honored and financially rewarded. The Bass Masters Classic is to bass fishing what the World Series is to baseball. It's a competition among America's best anglers who have qualified in earlier tournaments for America's favorite eel fish, the largemouth bass. More than half a century ago, it was the most important day in the sport of bass fishing. Today, it still is. The competition has been fierce among the best in the business, and 25 anglers have fought their way through to make it to the championship round. Now the challenge, yeah. eight hours to prove that you can outfish them all and realize the ultimate dream of every tournament angler to take the title of new world champion. Microphone. You hear that noise? That was the heartbeat of bass fishing because it is Championship Sunday at the greatest spectacle in all of sport fishing. Of course, the Bass Pro Shops Bass Master Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. Are you guys ready for this? Well, I am ready for it, and I'm really excited that my microphone's ready now. It had a little performance anxiety, but that happens at my age, okay? Welcome to the greatest spectacle in all sport fishing, whether you call it the Super Bowl of bass fishing, whether you call it the Catalina wine mixer of bass fishing, it is everything in this sport. And man, look at this packed house here today, ladies and gentlemen. Just about 15 minutes ago when I was introduced here, you heard a voice that introduced me. And that voice was Don Day. Don Day worked 40, I repeat, 40 Bassmaster Classics. Let's hear it for Don Day, ladies and gentlemen. And I think this is number 15 for me and about 
14 of those, he said, every, every time I'd see him when he'd leave it, he'd be like, this is my last year, I'm retiring. And I said, I'll see you next year. Well, guess what? He finally kept his promise and he retired. But he is watching right now in Alabama. And I need you guys to make enough noise for Don Data. He is a icon of this sport. He was once literally shot out of a cannon for the Bassmaster Classic. That's how much he's given to this sport. And I need you all to make some noise for the amazing Don Day watching at home in Alabama and thank him for 40 years of entertainment. I think you could do better than that. This is Championship Sunday. Let me hear you, ladies and gentlemen. Don Day made this place rock. He introduced everybody. And I'm going to make a promise to Don Day. As long as I'm being introduced on this stage, it'll be your voice that introduces me. Let's hear it for Don Day one more time, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to waste some fish, but I need some absolute insanity here before we do that. And since Don Day's retired, we have DJ Jazzy John working with us. And John, you told me before this way, and you said, don't worry, I know how to whoop them up and I'll get them going crazy. So I'll give the honors to you. Well, you know, it's hard to fill those big shoes of a former press editor that was here and watching at home in Alabama. But right now, Dave, we want to get the crowd fired up. There are cameras all around the arena. This is going to be seen all over the world. We're going to bring up some house lights. Tulsa, make some noise! Woo! Louder! Louder! Fast, faster! Fast, faster! How's that, Dave? Look at those light sticks. I mean, this is like a rave for old folks. <laughs> it's wonderful. But I know why you came here. We've had this is a celebration of the sport. You had a great, we've had a great week here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and a great crowd every single time we come here. But you guys came here to waste some fish, right? You've caught the t-shirts, you've caught the red solo cups, you've had fun, you've seen the legends. Are you guys ready to waste some fish? Well, in this sport, you guys actually don't get to weigh the fish today, but there's one guy that gets to do it, and it is the one and only Chris Bones. Get loud for him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Championship Sunday, the 54th edition of the greatest spectacle in all of sport fishing, Chris. And man, that thunder you hear from this crowd is incredible. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get any better than the Bassmaster Classic 54th edition here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I got a few people, if you don't mind, I'd like to thank. And of course, Tulsa Regional Tours, I'm giving them a big round of applause. Renee McKinney, Matt Stockman, Joel Kessner, appreciate them. Give them a round of applause along with the city of Grove, Oklahoma. Grand Lake of the Cherokees, what a fantastic fishery. It showed out all week. It's really proven. It, it can be a little tough, but it's proven to be a, a tremendous cla classic fishery because literally, as we've seen time and time again when we come here, it can go down to the last cast, so it's going to be exciting. I want to thank GRDA. What an, what an awesome job they, they do, but they also uh, have law enforcement on the lake, and they were key. You know, we've had wind and weather and, and whatnot, and, they, and when we have those folks out on the water, we know we're well taken care of by our first responders, so give them a big round of applause along with the Oklahoma Yup, Department of Conservation, they had them. They also had law enforcement on the water. We appreciate that. And even better yet, they're taking care of the fish here. We're gonna get all these fish into their trucks and ship them right back up to Grand Lake where they can be caught again. So we wanna thank them along with our conservation directors for the Bass Nation. Give them a big round of applause. They're helping us with those efforts. We can't do it without all those folks and all our great volunteers. All the great volunteers, uh, they do such a tremendous job. We can't say thank you enough, Dave. Incredible, incredible support we get, but no bigger support than our fine friends from Bass Pro Shops. They are our title sponsor for the 54th Bassmaster Classic. I know the founder, Johnny Morris, just happens to be here. And I'm gonna tell you, there is no greater conservationist in the history of our sport than one Johnny Morris. He has done so much to defend our sport. Let me hear it for Bass Pro Shops.
Now I need your help with this last spot. I want all of you doing it. Are you guys ready? Let's get ready to win! Who we got first, John? Dave, all the way from Peterborough, Ontario. Give it up one time for Chris Johnston! The first Canadian ever to win an Elite Series event. Trying to become the second Canadian to win a classic, because obviously last year's champion, Jeff Gustafson, did that first. Had 29 pounds, six ounces as of the first two days of competition. Looking for 13-1 to take the lead here today. He's 13 pounds an ounce, got 12 pounds, 10 ounces, seven ounces short of the lead, but with 42 pounds even, he moves into second place and another championship Sunday performance for Chris Johnston. Forty-two pounds, even sitting in second place here in your fifth Bassmaster Classic, and man, uh, that never gets old rolling through those curtains. It doesn't, and this crowd is what does it for me. It makes me want to qualify and get right back here next year. Um, I'm already working on it in the 2024 uh, Elite Series, and uh, like I said, it's the sponsors, it's the crowd, and you do a great job yourself, Dave. And it's just an adrenaline rush coming up on this stage every time. Grand Lake is a great fishery. It's tough though; um, you have to change up every day. Today I had a crack at one big one, lost it, but I had 12 pounds today and I, I have no regrets. I, I had to go swinging for the fence. I, I didn't catch a fish after 11 o'clock. I went fishing new water and I found a lot of water that had no fish today. So um, still a good day out there and had a blast. Always great having you here. I look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks in Florida. And I just want to thank all my sponsors. Couldn't do without them. My family that came from uh, Ontario to come cheer me on. And I uh, caught all my fish this week. The way I like to fish, um, fish in a jig. I used a CJ flip from Spro and an outsider crankbait. Had a blast. Um, they were all on the bank the way I like to catch them. So looking forward to uh, getting to Florida in the next tournament. See you there. Safe travels. He hails from Collinsville, Mississippi. Put your hands together for Brock Mosley. A five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier and an Elite Series champion. He took that title last year in Orange, Texas on the Sabine River, rolling in in the Dakota Lithium Wrapped Phoenix Mercury. At 29 pounds, six ounces yesterday, digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag, ladies and gentlemen. Get loud for Brock Mosley. Had 29 pounds, six ounces yesterday, looking for 13-1 to take the lead. 25 anglers remain in this tournament. Needs 13 pounds and an ounce. 14-2, a brand new leader with 43 pounds, eight ounces. 43-8, and Brock Mosley moves into the lead. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. You know how to do this. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. He's a Bass Pro Shops at Daily Leader. Brock, 43 pounds, eight ounces. You're leading this tournament, and anytime you get a chance to come here on Championship Sunday, you've done your job here this week. Yeah, it's, it's been a fun week. Uh, you know, I, I, I really needed another game plan because I, I, I haven't caught any big ones all week. Everything I've weighed in has been the exact same size, but, uh, you know, I was catching them the way I want to, um, flipping a Buckeye lure, um, mini mop jig, and then a, uh, with a Yamamoto flapping hog. Uh, caught a lot of fish on a Bill Lewis SB57 this week. Uh, just covering water and fishing what's in front of me. I just never run any big ones. Uh, me and Hank was sharing a lot of water this week, and I let him, let him have it today, and I just kind of went swinging. Um, never really figured anything else out, but all in all, it's been a good week. It's, it was a good day to be in the Phoenix Mercury. It was pretty rough out there, uh, but, you know, it's one of them deals where you want to come into the Classic, you want to compete, and, you know, 
it's bad to say this, but make a championship Sunday, you know, you, it just isn't quite good enough. You want to compete, but when you're in the position we were in, you try to stay out of the way, but, uh, you know, it's always fun seeing everybody in the industry, all the family, friends. Uh, I want to thank Dakota Lithium. They've had my back for six, seven years. I've been with them from the beginning. Um, if you guys are in the market for lithium batteries, look them up. Uh, hook gear, uh, power pole, mercury. Uh, I'm sure I'm leaving some out, but all in all, it's been a great week. And hey, we get back uh, at it in a couple weeks and got to get back here in 25. Looking forward to seeing you down in Florida. Another angler from Peterborough, Ontario. Give it up for Corey Johnston. Fishing his fifth Bassmaster Classic, a Bassmaster Open winner, and a four-time Canadian Open champion. Rolling in here in that beautiful Power Pole Rap Ranger Mercury. Digging deep in that live well. Let's hear it for Corey Johnston. Oh boy. At 29 pounds, eight ounces. They tried to kick him out of the top 10, but he's not allowed to leave. He's 14-1 to take the lead. Not a problem, 19 pounds, 14 ounces. Let's hear it for that Crush City monster bag. to weigh that for Mercury Big Bass. Definitely going to take that over for the day. Four pounds, 12 ounces. So he's leading that. And he is leading the Bassmaster Classic with 49 pounds, six ounces. So a great day today, Corey. And, and it was a day that seems like a lot of anglers kind of struggled. I mean, it was obviously, this was a true test. Flat calm on day one, blasting wind yesterday. Stronger wind today, but from a totally different direction. But it worked out for you. For sure, you know, day one killed me. I just didn't figure it out quick enough. And, um, you know, one person I do got to thank is Prosnick. He uh, he got off the water yesterday and he said, dude, he said, I left an eight pounder sitting out there. You got to go catch it. So I spent two hours on that thing today and uh, had it hooked, fought it forever, wrapped me around a log and I, I couldn't get to it to get it off from the cables. But, uh, you know, it was an awesome week. Um, you know, the crowd's unbelievable. I got to thank my family, all my sponsors, all my friends that are here to support us. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Uh, I want to thank Bass, and uh, it's going to be an exciting show here coming up. So I'm going to go up there, have a beer, and uh, watch it. Looking forward to watching how it plays out myself. Dave, our next angler is from Rathdrum, Idaho, Brandon Polinek. Six-time Bassmaster winner, a former Bass Nation national champion, a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, fishing his 13th Bassmaster Classic, and digging deep in that Skeeter Yamaha Livewell. Get loud for the prodigy. Had a rough day number one, but a much better day two, and it looks like day three worked out well. Had 30 pounds, seven ounces as of the first two days of competition. Five fish to add to that here today. 11 pounds, 11 ounces, gives him 42 pounds and two ounces. He moves into fourth place currently. Seven pounds, five ounces short of the overall lead, but get loud for the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. Forty-two pounds, two ounces, and uh, you know, I, I, I imagine this was a situation where you, you know, you had very little to lose and a lot to gain, and unfortunately, not going to take it this time. But number thirteen, and you already get back to work for number fourteen just in a couple weeks' time. Yeah, I knew I had the swing today. I started out doing the same thing I did the first two days, cranking a Mega Bass Z2, and I, I caught one doing it. 
in, in the back of my mind, just kept going, throw the glider, throw the glider. So <laughs> I, I went and I picked up a swim bait. I ended up tying up an eight inch mag draft. My first bite on it was about a seven or eight pounder and it broke me off in the rocks. And I just did that the rest of the day and caught 11 pounds on an eight inch mag draft and a seven inch glide bait. Don't ask me how a 14 inch spot gets a seven inch glide bait in his mouth, but he did. Well, they not proving big baits don't always catch big fish, but man, big future for you. Uh, and it's hard to believe this is your 13th Bassmaster Classic. It is hard to believe. My third classic ever was here. And then this week we were doing interviews and they told me I had the second most classics out of anyone competing in this event. And I thought to myself, I really am that old guy now. <laughs> so there's probably a lot of you guys that saw me back in 2013 when I could barely grow any facial hair. And so we, we've come a long ways. Now I'm just losing my hair and it's turning gray and it's sticking to my, to my face and my back. So uh, a lot's changed, but you guys keep showing up. So I, keep, I hope you guys keep bringing us back to Tulsa because I love Grand Lake. We love having you on this stage. We'll see you in a couple weeks in Florida. Dave, next up from Greenwood, South Carolina. Put your hands together for Brandon Cobb. The C-O-double-B is a two-time Elite Series champion, took both those wins in his rookie season. He's a member of the Bassmaster Century Club. Celebrated his wife's birthday yesterday and snuck inside the cut. Had 29 pounds and three ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. 14 pounds, seven ounces. He moves into second place with 43 pounds and 10 ounces for the C-O-double-V, Brandon Cobb. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Forty-three pounds, ten ounces, sitting in second place. Got to weigh that for Mercury Big Bass. Needs to be better than four twelve for the day. Four pounds, nine ounces. Not going to do that, but a welcome addition to the limit. And when we talked on stage yesterday. You kind of hinted that you thought you were out of this tournament, so uh, it's all gravy. Yeah, today was just kind of go have fun. I. Uh... I kind of stayed in the same area. I've been fishing pretty close to the ramp, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to do something crazy, go do something I haven't done all week today. And I said, no, I'm just going to throw big fish baits all day. And I caught the same weight pretty much I caught every day, throwing just a buzz bait and a spinner bait. That's all I kept in my hand all day, and uh, still caught about the same weight. So I guess the area I was fishing just had about a little under three pound fish, is what it looks like. But it was, a, it was an awesome week overall. I. Uh, my first year running a Yamaha motor on my Falcon, and I've loved it all week, a power pole move trolling motor. It's uh, big, big changes on my propulsion this year, and uh, I've loved every minute of it. But I want to thank all my sponsors, Art, Yozuri, everybody's here, Anderson, Neil Paul from the tourism director for Visit Anderson got to ride me, with me in practice, so that's probably why I didn't find anything the day of practice. But <laughs> it was a great week overall. I appreciate everybody coming out, appreciate my family for coming and uh, look forward to getting back here again soon. Forward to seeing you down the road in Florida in a couple weeks time. From the West Coast, Roseville, California. We're glad to have him. Give it up on time for Brian Smith. Fishing his very first Bassmaster Classic set the all-time record for the five biggest smallmouth bass weighed in in Bassmaster history. 29 pounds, five ounces. Did that in the St. Lawrence River, but he likes largemouth too. Five fish here today had 29 pounds, five ounces to start the day today. Looks like a good day here today. Championship Sunday, 17 pounds, four ounces, all the way up into second place with 46 pounds and nine ounces for this West Coast superstar.
Gonna weigh that for Mercury Big Bass. Needs to be better than 412 for the day. Six pounds even, so a brand new Mercury Big Bass. And that's the way you want to fish on Championship Sunday. Yeah, man, you know, going out in 24th place, I knew it was a long shot to make a comeback. It can happen here, but I just went out and had fun, you know. I stuck a 3XD in my hand. It just went down the bank. It fished everything in front of me. I had an absolute blast, but what an incredible experience this was, you know. It's, it's an absolute whirlwind, you know. We're always doing stuff. The itinerary is six pages long, but I tried to take a few moments every day and just kind of remember some some really key moments and man one of them was uh was uh backing off the dock the first day and uh to have my son and, and my wife there man it's it's hard not to get emotional uh but to see them as i was glassing off in my first Bassmaster classic man it's uh, there was nothing nothing better the best part about it is you get to go back to working on getting back here next year in Florida in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. I don't want to ever miss this tournament, man. This was an incredible experience. Love having you here. I can't believe this next guy's coming in here. I mean, they're going to go absolutely ballistic. Just saying. We got a couple of anglers from Oklahoma. This one's from Park Hill. Give it up for Jason Christie. One of the most feared names in professional bass fishing. The 2022 Bassmaster Classic champion fishing his 10th Bassmaster Classic and rolling into one of my personal favorite weigh-in songs. 31 pounds, three ounces to start the day. He's got five fish looking for 18.4 to take the lead. 13 pounds, six ounces with 44 pounds, nine ounces. He moves into third place currently, but Oklahoma, let's celebrate one of your very own. He does you proud all year long on the Bassmaster Elite Series. <laughs> 44 pounds and nine ounces. And uh, Christy, I know anytime you go on grand, that, you know, the goal for you is, is to finish first this one a very different kind of tournament. Every single day we fished under different conditions. What, what's your take on it at this point? Um, for me this week, you know, there, I went out this morning, uh, guns a blazing. And I, you know, I really thought that I, that I could catch a big bag or at least have a chance to catch a big bag. And, uh, you know, there's a point throughout the day, it probably happened about two o'clock today where you're like, you're probably not gonna win this event, you know? I mean, I had one fish at one o'clock. Um, but the good thing is I'll sleep tonight because I left everything on the table, you know? Um, I, I think the one thing that probably got me uh, coming into this event is probably just too many ideas. I, even though I settled in with the spinnerbait like I typically do on that lake, uh, but just a lot of ideas, and uh, I really don't think I settled down in practice and really picked anything apart. Uh, you know, but it's a great lake. I think we missed it, like just blowing it out two weeks. We're two weeks late, and we're two weeks early. You know what I mean? There's just that. I know that's the fisherman's excuse, but there's just always that little, that little window there that, that we just missed this one. Tough one, but uh, the good news is you're going to get back to working and qualifying here, and I've got a feeling we're going to be standing on this stage for a bunch more of these in the future. Yeah, I, I hope so. You know, this is, this is the event that keeps me fishing. Uh, I mean, I love the crowds. I love the hype of the week. I love the feeling when you win one. I mean, that's probably the best part about it. But, yeah, it's a great week. It's a week that I look forward to. You know, as soon as I qualified last year, I started thinking about this one. And uh, it just... You know, there's a lot of people in this building, building that fish. There's just some days it just doesn't, it just doesn't work out. You just don't put the puzzle together. And, and I, didn't, I didn't do that this week, you know. Um, there's a few things, a few people I want to thank. You know, obviously all the sponsors I have, Garmin, uh, Booyah, Skeeter, Yamaha. But Falcon is uh, in Broken Arrow just a few miles down. And, and the founder of Falcon, he took a chance on me in 2013 when really nobody else wanted to wrap my boat and took care of me. And we lost him a few months ago. Great dude. He's done a lot for the industry. And uh, 
Yeah, he's done a lot for me. There's a, there's a light up there. There's a, there's a few people up there that followed me all, or most of the week. One of them, he, uh, he's not very smart. He didn't, he didn't wear many clothes, but yeah. There's a few, another thing that- Matt Robertson follow you? <laughs> no, but he could be kin to Matt Robertson. Yeah, um, yeah, it's that group up there. I mean, other than the classic and the fans, you know, the, my friends and my family, uh, you know, the biggest supporters I have, catch them or not catch them, you know, I'm still the best dad, all of that stuff, but, you know, they're a great group, and, and the biggest one, she, she doesn't get enough credit, you know, my wife, she takes care of the business, she takes care of me, uh, she straightens me out when I need it, which is about every day, but, you know, my kids sacrifice a lot in the last, since I've been fishing, and, and uh, I appreciate that from them, and They'll do anything for me just like I'll do anything for them. We love having you on this stage. Look forward to seeing you in Florida. Please welcome from Deal, Maryland, Brian Schmidt. He is a three-time Bassmaster winner, holds the all-time record for the most Toyota Series wins, fishing his third Bassmaster Classic. Keep that noise for going for him, ladies and gentlemen. Well, just, go, just go, take it for a walk, if you wish. 29 pounds, six ounces. Bassmaster Classic, you can do whatever you want. Five fish, 12 pounds, 11 ounces, gives you 42 pounds and an ounce. He moves into eighth place currently. And now he's gonna hold that fish up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Mercury Big Bass, the six pounder. That one, five pounds, nine ounces, so not gonna take that away, but man, championship Sunday here at the Bassmaster Classic. Nothing wrong with that. You know, we had opportunity. That's the, that's the bottom line. We didn't catch them. I don't mean like we lost any fish, but we got to go fishing on the final day of the Classic. So that gave us an opportunity. We could have had a special day. So going into this week, that's what I wanted. I wanted an opportunity to go fish the final day and. No regrets, man. I, I fished good all week, made good decisions. What's going on is I'm finding one or two small, really good deals all year and in and, 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 and the Classic this week. I'm just not finding enough. You know, the thought process is right and, and just not finding enough of it. Well, I know your family's here supporting you and get a little downtime with them and then we head to Florida in the Elite Series. 100%, we can't wait to get to Florida. You know, there's a lot of grass down there and everything like that. But yes, I love everybody up there, my whole family, all my support. Everybody texting me back home, man. You know, I appreciate all that. And uh, you know, we're gonna go get a good dinner and we're gonna drive it home to Maryland in the morning. Love having you here on this stage. Let's hear it for him as he makes his way up the stage. From Colgate, Oklahoma, give it up one time for Luke. There we go. A calm, cool cat from Colgate, Oklahoma. Five time Bassmaster Classic qualifier and took an Elite Series victory last year. One of two Oklahoma anglers in our field had 29-14, five fish today, 13-4, moves into sixth place with 43 pounds and two ounces. Digging deep in that Cross City weigh-in bag, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, make a little noise for Luke Palmer.
So eighth place right now, and I mean, obviously a home state classic. The goal was to win this deal, but um, hearing that eruption from the crowd, I mean, you, you're kind of winning on that front. Oh, it is. You know, Oklahoma, we showed out this week, and, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I had a bunch of people follow me around. I have no idea why I kept following me today, but, boy, they was out there, and I appreciate the heck out of it. You know, my family, they come to all the classics, and, you know, it's, it's special when you have that group behind you all the time, and when you got a group like this showing up at Classic, it makes a big difference. You know, Hook, Falcon Rods, War Eagle Spinner Baits, put that big one in the box today, or I wouldn't have had squat, I can guarantee you that. Horizon Trike Marine, Amped Outdoor Batteries, they have, uh, they've kept me on the water, and they stepped up big this year since we got rid of the hardware store. Now I'm a professional fisherman, so uh, I better step up my game, keep catching them. But, you know, it's it was a fun week being here in Oklahoma, somewhat close. You know, it's not but a three-and-a-half-hour drive, and it was it's not bad. You know, I can, I can get used to being at home a little bit more like that. So, like I said, it was a fun week. I'm very impressed with all the show out this week. I can't thank you guys enough, and uh, I don't want to miss any classics because uh, this is where it's at. It's the best, biggest stage, biggest show that we can come to. Thank you guys for showing up. He joins us from Shelby, North Carolina. Put your hands together for Matt Airy. Five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, two wins on the FLW Tour, and a proud member of Team Toyota. As you see, rolling it in that beautiful Toyota wrapped Ranger Mercury at 29 pounds, 10 ounces. After the first two days of competition, looks like a good day here today on Championship Sunday. 16 pounds, 10 ounces with 46 pounds, four ounces. Team Toyota's Matt Airy moves into third place currently. Yeah. It's a great, great finish here in this tournament, no matter what way it works out, and a great championship Sunday. How are you feeling, Matt? Oh man, it's championship Sunday at Bass Match Classic. It just doesn't get any better than this. I uh, I did not want to leave Grand Lake today, believe it or not. I I don't know. My marshal, we tried to keep count, but I know we caught over 50 bass out there, and it was an absolute blast. We figured it out a little bit late, but you know I've been pattern fishing, shallow water power uh, pattern fishing all week, and uh, I've actually been using. So I've collaborated with Pulse Fish Lures to bring you Pulse Fish rods. I've been using them all year on the Elite Series, and they actually go live today for pre-order on PulseFishLures.com. I'm actually using a Kraken rod uh, called the Unfair Advantage. And uh, for a little while there this afternoon, that's what I thought I had there for a bit. But uh, anyway, big shout out to this crowd right up here. You know, they say they say this is a, uh, you know, this is an individual sport, but it's not. That's my team right up there. And the VIP is that little lady holding the phone up, which is my wife, Emily. Uh, my daughter's Reese and Wren up there. Uh, wh what an awesome week, and that support means everything to us. Shout out to all my sponsors, Toyota, Bass Pro Shops, Ranger. Uh, Y'all know what Toyota does for this sport. Bass Pro Shops actually still got the Spring Fishing Classic going on this Wednesday, y'all. It, it stops this Wednesday, so so be sure to take advantage of that. And uh, man, big shout out to all the spectators this week. I saw a lot of spectators on the water, probably more at this Classic than any other Classic I fished. Super respectful. Um, everybody on the water was 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 awesome. I mean, I probably only saw two or three people actually fish in the last three days. And, and, and that means the world to us. I know it's a public lake, but man, that, 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 what, what a huge show of respect. Uh, Tulsa always does it upright. And uh, my fingers are all tore up. I've got Band-Aids, caught up over 100 bass easy the last three days. Uh, one thing that's still working though is my, my trigger finger right here. Cause, so those turkeys better watch out here in a couple weeks because I'm fixing to get after them. Uh, again, Tulsa, thank you so much, man. Y'all really showed out and uh, been a phenomenal classic. I can't wait to get back. We got a little bit of work starting back here in a couple weeks down in the Florida Swing. And uh, yeah, the goal is to make it back on this big stage next year. I'll see you in the Sunshine State. Obviously, Matt Airy at Team Toyota Pro. And Toyota has done, I've said this every day, but it's the truth. They have done so much for the sport of fishing. 
They have invested, they care about the sport of fishing. Toyota has done more than all the other truck companies combined to support fishing. And I need you guys to make them feel all warm and fuzzy. And how you do that is by getting really loud right now for the fine folks at Toyota. And John, bring me another Toyota. Oh yeah, let's do it right now. Please welcome from Grand Rapids, Minnesota, Easton Fothergill! Representing the collegiate anglers all across the country, this young man has overcome so much to be here. He's truly an inspiration, and he makes it to Championship Sunday at 29-15 at the start of the day today. Five to add to that here on Championship Sunday. The Bass Pro Shops Bass Master Classic, 15 pounds, four ounces. He moves all the way to fourth place with 45 pounds and three anglers. I need my collegiate anglers to get really, really loud for your representative here in 2024. Forty-five pounds, three ounces. I said it earlier this week, Easton man. You've overcome so much to be here, to just qualify here. If you haven't heard his story, you need to check it out on Bassmaster.com because it's truly amazing. But dude, watching you in the opens, watching what you've done just since you qualified here, I got a feeling we're gonna be hanging out again in the future. Yeah, that's the problem with making one of these classics, man. It's addicting, and now I know I never want to miss one, so I'm definitely going to have to focus here the rest of the open season, and, you know, I'm going to do my best to make it back here, man. This, this is, It's been the best week of my life. I have to be the happiest kid on earth right now, man. It's, I, I'm living in a dream right now. Truly a great way to look at things, and uh, we, we, we can see you throughout the opens all season long, I imagine. Yeah, I'm fishing the EQs, so winning that uh, college classic bracket, I, I get full entry in all EQs, and obviously I get to make it on the big stage, which is a dream come true for sure. So, living the dream, man. You, you are living the dream. I need everybody in here to get loud, make some noise. You take that sound and let it fuel your fire to get yourself on the Bassmaster Elite Series. That's the goal. Winning that bracket made every dream come true except that one. That's the one we still have to work for, but... Just quick couple thank yous. Thank you to everyone right there. That's that's my those are my rocks, all of them right there. Uh, thank you to my boys from Montevallo. They all mean the world to me. And thank you to Bassmaster for providing the platform for us college kids to compete every day. So that's it, man. Now the road to get back here starts now. Awesome sharing the stage with you. Please welcome from Catawba, North Carolina, Shane Lahue. He's a former Bassmaster Junior World Champion, fishing his fifth Bassmaster Classic. The baby shark Shane LeHue digging deep in that Skeeter live well. Oh boy. If the rest match that one, let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. That's no baby shark. Thirty pounds even coming into Championship Sunday. He needs 19.7 to take the lead at 30 pounds as of this morning. Five to add to that, 18 pounds, 15 ounces. Eight ounces short of the overall lead, but the baby shark moves into second place currently. And that is an absolute fin freak of nature. Boom shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. That's a good one, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. Kind of a baby shark. Six pounds right now. Six pounds even is leading Mercury Big Bass. Six pounds, seven ounces of brand new Mercury Big Bass. Not bad. Not bad. No, I had, uh, man, it was a super up and down day. I knew I had to make something happen, obviously being way back, so. 
I just kind of scrambled around, and at about noon, I had five legitimate baby sharks. I think they weighed about six pounds, which I did not know was possible on Grand Lake, and I did have a limit. But uh, I just started running around, and I happened to pick up a Berkeley Stunner while I was going around the end of a dock, and I just kind of pitched it around the end, and I snapped it about twice, and that six, seven, eight, and I was like, huh, maybe that's a thing. And I, about three docks later, I catch a four, and then I ran up the lake a little bit, and I caught a five, and I was like, man, I wish I had two more hours. I had one hook that was, you know, another five plus pounder, so it could have been one of those magical days. Um, I have no regrets. I had an awesome Bassmaster Classic. Thank you guys for coming out. We really mean it when you guys mean the world to us. You really do. This is the only reason I have this job, and it may be the most badass job on the planet. So I'm, I'm really appreciative of all the fans, all my friends, my family, my wife's up there in the stands. Uh, thank you guys. Thanks to all my sponsors. Um, you know, without them, I couldn't do it. And I'm, I'm just happy to be here. And that's the goal every year is to make the Bassmaster Classic. We accomplished that goal last year. Now we're going to get back to the Elite Series and accomplish that again. Looking forward to seeing you down in Florida. Please welcome from Opelika, Alabama, Kyle Welsher. His third Bassmaster Classic, but this one, he rolls in as the reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What a season he had last year. Started the day with 29 pounds, 12 ounces. Let's see how far we can move him up the scoreboard here on Champions. He said not far. Bod Fish here today, 14 pounds, 6 ounces. He moves into seventh place currently with 44 pounds and 2 ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Not bad. Yeah, no, definitely not bad. You know, I really like the way this lake sets up. You know, I've been fishing south around a bunch of boats, and today I decided to run up the river and go fish the way that I kind of want to fish in my heart, and we went and played around in the dirty water and caught them cranking and flipping and had a ton of fun today, you know, but I was running new water and I, obviously I've never seen a lot of that stuff before. I caught my fifth fish today at 258. We had to check in at 315 and I was about eight miles away. So, I mean, that is stressful, but man, that makes it fun. It's always great to have you here. We get right back to battling your butt back here. Yeah, you know, that's, that, that's exactly right. I'm just ready to go. You know, it sucks to not be in contention for the win, but I'm just ready to go move on to Florida and hopefully get in contention in that one. Love having you here. We'll see you on the Elite Series. From Chiba, Japan, please welcome Taku Ito! Fishing his fourth Bassmaster Classic in perpetual search of smallmouth Disneyland. And he sure found it back in 2021 with his first Elite Series victory on the St. Lawrence River. A spot we'll be visiting later on this year on the Bassmaster Elite Series. At 32 pounds, three ounces to start today. Need 17.4 to take the lead. Looks like a good day today. Looking for 17 pounds, four ounces. 16 pounds, two ounces, with 48 pounds and five ounces. Takumi Ito moves into third place currently. So sitting in third place and Four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. That's way better than a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bassmaster Classic, that's awesome. So whole year one time, and uh, all awesome anglers are coming, and uh, so it's so awesome tournament. I love it. And uh, 
So today is a very fun. I caught a 40 bass, 50 bass, and but I need a more big one. But so it's awesome tournament. I love Bassmaster Classic. Couple weeks, we head to Florida. Yeah, so next week in Florida, but I want to fish in the Grand Lake more. So, uh, <laughs> so tomorrow I will try to more fishing at the Grand Lake. Yeah, morning only. You're not leaving. Yeah, I fish in tomorrow, and uh, I want to run to more. And uh, because the Grand Lake is uh, that awesome, so I don't like grass fishing. Grand Lake, no grass. I love it. So I like Grand Lake. I want to fishing every day. So tomorrow, Grand Lake. Yeah. What about the next day? Uh, next day, the, I will heading go back to Georgia and uh, meet uh, uh, U.S. family and uh, Mark and Rhea. So, but tomorrow I will try to fishing with, and uh, with my son. Oh, yeah. that's that's the favorite fishing trips. Yeah, so because of my son loves fishing, but Japan is very tough. Uh, it's so hard to get, get a bass. Always we fish in the cup. And, but my son want to get a bass. The Grand Lake are easy to get uh, 13, 13 inches, 14 inches. So we will try to get a mini bass catch tomorrow. I can't wait to see how it works out for you. Let's hear it for Takumi Ito. Before we bring in another angler, you see, I feel like I'm kind of styling and profiling up here, and that is because of our presenting sponsor, the fine folks at Jockey Outdoors. They just got involved with bass, and we couldn't be happier to welcome them. And you guys know how to say you're welcome to a sponsor. Make some noise for Jockey Outdoors. Now, John, speaking of jockey, it's a great, great company, but this guy knows how to party. Let's bring him in. We're going to bring down the house with, from Katawa, Kentucky, Matt Robertson. <laughs> 31 pounds and 11 ounces yesterday. A man more slick than an ugly stick, the one and only Matt Robertson. Had 31 pounds, 11 ounces. Three fish today. 10 pounds, six ounces, so three decent fish, but two short of his limit gives him 42 pounds and an ounce. Hold that one high because that right there is a fin freak of nature. Oh boy, I believe we have a new Mercury Big Bass. Needs to be better than 6'7 for the day, 6'12 for the tournament. Six pounds, five ounces shows I don't know anything. I do not know anything. Thank you for letting me down, Matt. That's all right, buddy. Story of my life a little bit short. All right. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a long drive back from the lake, and I was out there, and I fell asleep in the boat, and uh, kind of dazed away, and woke up, and thought I was going to have something pretty cuddled up next to me, and daggum if it wasn't Taco sat next to me in the boat. I mean, he's kind of pretty for, for a guy, but not really my style, you know, but... Uh, I drank, pounded me one of them five-hour energies, and uh, I don't know, I know it's a little fancy, but I'm gonna have to give me an espresso martini to wake my butt up. But What happened to the fur coat? Did it, did, did the game warden take it away? Oh yeah, they, uh, well, they got a lot back there trying to fist pump me. I'm like, oh, heck no, y'all ain't getting none of that. We don't really jive too well, but, uh, but now it's a fun week here on Grand Lake. I went out there and I had to have 30 pounds to win today. And I went out there and chucked a big swim bait all day. And I uh, got one of those bites. And uh, yeah, it didn't really work out. I want to thank my family and everybody and my friends and my buddy Willie. 
up there for running my booth this week at the Classic. And I want to thank every one of you for coming out here. And uh, man, I don't care where you come from. I'm telling you, I come from the poor house and I, all you got to do is work your tail off and uh, don't quit. And you can be standing right here where we are. I love the fact that you're standing here. Let's hear it from Matt Robertson. I'll be honest, I had the fur was awesome, but that thing needed fumigated. Bring us another one. All right, we got one from Yamanshi, Japan. Please give a big welcome to Kiyoya Fujita. The young prince of Japanese angling. 12 Elite Series events he's fished. He's won two of them. A two-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club and double guns loaded. 29 pounds, 14 ounces. As of the first two days of competition comes into Championship Sunday here. Needs a big day to take the lead. But I'm gonna tell you what's big, his future. Keep your eye on this young angler. Four Angler of the Year titles and six individual tournament wins in Japan before he even got here. And already two Elite Series titles in 12 tries. One of the hottest starts in the history of the sport. Had 29-14. Today, 18 pounds, two ounces. He moves into fourth place. Just one pound, seven ounces short of the overall lead. That right there is another Crush City monster bag for the Prince of Japanese Angling. Forty-eight pounds even, sitting in fourth place. So day two and day three were good. Day one, a little rougher. Did you need the wind? Uh, day one, yes. Yeah, so four twenty-six dollars I used. So bad. So. All small fish, the bat, so change plan and change tactics. So I try very shallow water fishing. So I didn't uh, for fishing sonar today and uh, yesterday. So uh, I used so jig, jig, jig and uh, spinner bait. Yeah, they're all big fish. <laughs> We go to Florida in a couple of weeks. How are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm excited. So, uh, big stage for classic. <laughs> and uh, today, so, uh, Grand Lake is a very so shallow water, so big bass lake. So, uh, I enjoy fishing. So. We love having you over here in the Elite Series, and I look forward to having you on very many Bassmaster Classic stages in the future. Uh, sorry. <laughs> You'll come back here again. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I try uh, LECs this year, so I uh, qualify classics. So next year, so I want to win classic. I would love to see that dream come true for you. Let's hear it for Choya Fujita. From Cooperstown, New York, Kyle Patrick. He's an Elite Series rookie, already made one top 10 at his second Elite Series event. This is his first Bassmaster Classic. Got here winning a Bassmaster Open at 31 pounds, five ounces as of this morning. Looking for 18 pounds, two ounces. Five fish here today, 17 pounds, 15 ounces, just three ounces short of the overall lead with 49 pounds and four ounces. Give him something to cheer about. Keep your eye on this young rookie. Three ounces short of the overall lead, but man, your Elite Series career off to a great start. Your first Bassmaster Classic of Championship Sunday appearance. Life is good. Life is really, really good right now. Um, I had a crazy day, right? Uh, started off really hot, um, 
flipping the missile baits jig with the you know green fish tackle skirt which has been a player all year um, but you know just an unreal experience to have my friends and family here and they're awesome yeah <laughs> um, and then you know on the <laughs> I've got this bag, I'm super excited. I'm a little jacked up, as you know. Um, really, you're always there. Yeah, it, yeah. A little more today, though. Yeah, the Minn Kota guys call me Switch. Cause it's switch? Because it's on or off. There's no in between. I've never seen it off. Yeah, well, it's when I'm sleeping. <laughs> um, no, but I'm driving down the highway, and you know, Phoenix makes a great boat, a great trailer, but unfortunately, they don't make tires. And I've had a blowout. And, uh, you know, a guy named Chad was like, man, I watched you all day, and he helped me fix it. I was a little hot, I was a little strung out at that point, a little, little scared, but we got here, and thanks, Chad, for that. <laughs> Everybody in the count of three, say thanks, Chad. One, two, three. <laughs> say you should always help your fellow anglers when you see them broken down. Got a trip heading ahead to uh, Florida, and how you feeling about that? I'm excited for Florida. You know. This tournament, I was able to just fish the bank, and I truly love to do that, and I think Florida's gonna set up well for that, and you know, I wanna tell everyone out there, I started fishing in a blue canoe. That was the first tournament I fished. I rigged out a live well, okay? Like, this can happen, like, like Matt was saying. Hard work, dedication, I promise it's a reality because of this right here. So, you know, it's never impossible. How many forward-facing sonar units did you have on that blue canoe? I had three on the back, two on the front, and then I cut a hole in the middle and had one right down in the hole, so. <laughs> Such a liar, but so awesome. Let's hear it for Kyle Patrick. Next on stage from Longview, Texas, Lee Livesey. One of the winningest pros in the last five years, his fourth Bassmaster Classic, a four-time Bassmaster winner that happens to have weighed in the third biggest bag in Bassmaster history on Lake Fork. The people's champion digging deep in that live well. Get loud for Lee Livesey. Double guns loaded, bang, bang. The people's champ delivers here on Championship Sunday. Had 33 pounds in an ounce, went out in seventh place this morning. And he is loading up that Crush City weigh in bag. Oh boy. Somebody went to the Piggly Wiggly and came back with a whole sack full. 33 pounds in an ounce, and needs 16 6 to take the lead. 16 pounds, 10 ounces. 16-10, and Lee Livesey is leading the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic. That, a brand new Bass Pro Shops Daily Leader. Forty-nine pounds, eleven ounces. You are leading the Bassmaster Classic, and we have one more angler than our Super Six. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna last very long with the guys behind me, but I, I'll sit there as long as I can. I'm just uh, disappointed you didn't get a uh, Cody Cannon up here uh, serenade me. What happened? I tried. I I, I put my work in. Uh, but he, he, he said he didn't want to steal the spotlight from you, and I said, well, I don't know if you'd steal it or make it brighter, but, I mean, it would have been pretty cool, but it's just a goal. I mean, next year, the Bassmaster Classic happens to be in Texas. You're from Texas. Whiskey Myers is from Texas. I'm throwing the challenge out right now. You want to make it happen? Yeah, I think we need to do that for sure, or we just need to have a Classic at Lake Fork. And then they can play at Lake Fork. What about that? That would be forking awesome. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a great day. There's a lot of people I want to thank. I mean, look at this crowd. This is amazing. You know, I talk about the crowd so much. But the only reason that I'm here besides that, that family right there, that section, my mom, my dad, my wife, 
Lane's up there, all my friends, and Brooklyn's back at home. I love y'all so much. I haven't seen my family all week. That's how crazy the Classic Week is. I have not seen one of those people all week except my wife, and she drove three hours a day to come see me at midnight when I'm asleep, but that's it. Uh, but my sponsors, man, everybody, all of y'all top to bottom, thank y'all so much. Uh, I'm serious. I couldn't do this without them, like hook gear. This week we had 80 degree weather, 40 degree wind, rain. You know, I, I live in hook gear, uh, whether I'm hunting or fishing, you know, hook when I'm fishing, nomad when I'm hunting, hot, cold, anything in between, they keep me dry, keep me warm, keep me safe. Uh, Y'all see that Express X21 right there with that Yamaha show on it. I think they like the Express. I, I, was, I was without a home with a boat last year to start the season. And Rory uh, from Express and Clay Connor, man, they brought me into their family like I was one of them and, and gave me a place with Express. And that boat's been badass, it really has. The wind blew hard today, I ran all up and down at 65 miles an hour, 21 foot boat, two people in a full load. Thank y'all so much Express. Rory, thank you so much for letting me be part of your family. Everybody, Tackle Attic, Whiskey Myers, Bush, they get, they get the spotlight because everybody loves to drink Bush Light and listen to Whiskey Myers. But there's so many more, Sunline, Gamagatsu, uh, Halo Rods, American Bait Works, Six Cents, man, they showed out this week. Uh, Impulse Lithium Battery, Sea Clear Harness, Minn Kota and Humminbird Tim Price, Joby Smith, I love those guys. There, there, there's so much to my puzzle that puts it together. Union Sportsman's Alliance, what a, what a great organization I'm with right there. There's just a million different things, like Mossy Oak Fishing, man. You, don't, you think about Mossy Oak as just hunting, man. They're huge in the fishing industry, too. Uh, thank y'all so much at Mossy Oak. There's just a million different pieces you know, that put my puzzle together, like Zeus Logistics, Navasota Industrial Supply, some of those non-endemics that you don't think about, man, they keep me on the road. Uh, without them, I couldn't do anything. And, there, and there's some more, too, that I'm forgetting for sure. Uh, thank y'all all so much, all my sponsors. Thank y'all fans. I'll hoist this trophy one day. Grand Lake, you're awesome. It's time for some Whiskey Myers and Bush Light, baby. I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all. Bad day to be a Bush Light. He, he, he just set a record for the most sponsor plugs at this Bassmaster Classic, ladies and gentlemen. But all of those companies, so many of those companies, and so many more, who went to the Outdoor Expo? Let's hear it for the Outdoor Expo presented by GSM Outdoors. Can't thank GSM enough for being our presenting sponsor of the Outdoor Expo. And um, I think there's another angler ready to come in here, John. Am I we right? Got, we got an angler standing by, Dave, from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, Jay Shakurit! He's a former Dakota Lithium, a Rookie of the Year, an Elite Series champion. Started the day with 32 pounds and seven ounces. Needs 17 pounds, five ounces to load our hot seat. 17 pounds, 10 ounces with 50 pounds and an ounce. Jay Shakurat is leading the Bass Pro Shops, a Bass Master Classic. Presented by Jockey Outdoors. Get loud for him, ladies and gentlemen. Fifty pounds and an ounce. You are leading this deal, and uh, man, a great tournament. No matter what way this works out. Yeah, no matter what way this works out. If you would have told me I would have fifty pounds after three days, I would have taken it every day. Uh, so Grand Lake, yeah, this place is special to me. I haven't had a bad, you know, tournament here ever. I've had three trips here, um, all good tournaments. I feel like this place fishes like home. You know, it fishes like the Wisconsin River. Um, there's some current, it's kind of a river system. Um, so kind of to the fishing this week, you know, the first day I caught him on a jerk bait. Um, I was jerking offshore. 
and then I had to adapt. You know, I had to go back to my roots, basically, which is flipping docks, flipping structure that I can see with my eyes. Um, that's what I did the next two days. I locked a striking structure jig in my hand, went to work, fishing docks the entire day. Um, I did have one special dock the last two days. I caught four fish off of one singular dock in basically a five minute span and they were all three and a half to four pounders. Um, it was a super special dock on Grand Lake, so if someone else finds it, um, make sure you go catch those bass. But anyways, I have my whole family to thank up there. Uh, they dro drove down all the way from Wisconsin. It's a long haul. You know, there's so many people to thank. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, all the, you know, without the sponsor support, it's, it's almost impossible. For a guy like me, you know, coming from Wisconsin, that far away from home, you know, every drive that I take from home is 12 plus hours for the most part. You know, I don't have a drive that's, you know, eight, nine hours, unless we're fishing, you know, maybe on St. Clair, but then I gotta go all the way around the lake. So, uh, you know, with that being said, it takes all the support. We had it all this week. We had all the weather out there, all the, you know, challenges. Um, the support's always by my side, and I'm so thankful for it. Well, we love having you on the Elite Series. We love having you on the Bassmaster Classic stage. Don't go too far because you're going to load our hot seat here in a minute. If I get, before I get yelled at, I have to make sure that I give a huge shout out to my girlfriend as well. We're, we're going on close to four years now, so things are in the, in the work. You heard them. I mean, I didn't say it. They did. I said it last year, so we're still together. And something might happen. <laughs> Let's hear it for Jay Secure, your tournament leader. You guys know how this deal works. We started with 56, only 25 went out today. We've weighed 19, and there is six more to go. There are people in this world who watch their dreams come to fruition. They knew the importance of hard work and positivity. They put in the hours. They made sacrifices. They are proof that dreams can and do come true if you work for it, if you fight for it, if you have the courage and confidence to keep believing in your dream. It's not an easy journey. If it was easy, there'd be no Rick Klein. If it was easy, there'd be no Hank Parker. There would be no Larry Nixon.
We started with 56. Only 25 went out on Championship Sunday. But if you're gonna win the 54th Bassmaster Classic, you're gonna have to deal with this six, the Super Six. Tulsa, are you ready to meet your Super Six? Just one year after having our very first Canadian Bassmaster Classic champion, there is another. This one is the youngest one. Big bass, big stage, big dreams. And his dreams were planted right here in the BOK Center. In 2016, he sat in the splash well. Now he is on the main stage. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He is a Bassmaster Open winner from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, Cooper Gallant. In the sport of baseball, they have Mr. October. Well, when it comes to fishing, he is a big game player. The bigger the stakes, the more he shows up. He's a four-time Bassmaster winner. He's a two-time Classic champion. He's a back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic champion. A seven-time Classic qualifier from Maiden, North Carolina, Hank Sherry. He is a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. He is the first collegiate angler ever to make it to the Bassmaster Elite Series. He is a seven-time Classic qualifier. He has knocked on the door many times before. Is this finally the day that he answers? Get loud for Brandon Carr. We heard about him before we ever met him. And one of the greatest to play the game, Mr. Rick Clun, when he starts touting your name, you know you have the game. He's a two-time Toyota Series winner. He is a former collegiate Bassmaster champion. He is a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Ava, Missouri, Cody Huff. The Bassmaster Classic is made up of qualifiers from all around the country. No, all around the world. The majority of them come from the Elite Series, but some come from college, some come from Nation, and some come from the Bassmaster Opens. And this guy's trying to prove, although he's a rookie, he can rock this stage. Get loud for Adam Rasmussen. He has led this tournament since day number one. A year ago, he was cutting lawns to make a living, and now he's cutting down the competition on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Just a couple of weeks ago, he caught the biggest bass ever caught on Bass Live. He's a Bassmaster Century Club member. Get loud! Is it Hamner time? Justin Hamner! One more time, Tulsa, get loud for your Super Six.
Well, well, Tulsa, how quick things have changed here. We have gained our Bass Pro Shops hot seat. How about this? And the most coveted trophy in professional bass fishing. The 54th edition of the Bassmaster Classic. This is the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. But I want to bring your attention to this. This incredible title that makes dreams that people get obsessed with. All of you in the stands, we talked about Cooper Gallant, all of us, almost everybody who's touched this trophy dreamed about it in those seats. And we're just a few minutes away from watching dreams come true. But none of those dreams would have ever been possible without one man. And I'm proud to say that man, his name resides on the top of this trophy now. This is the Ray Scott Bassmaster Classic Trophy. Ray Scott's incredible dream was planted in all of us, and it's growing to be the world championship of professional bass fishing. And if it wasn't for his crazy dream, none of us would be here. Unfortunately, Ray is no longer with us. But a true sign of a legacy is somebody that plants a dream that grows far beyond them. And Ray Scott definitely did that. And while there's an absence in bass fishing, and there will be always without Mr. Ray Scott, we will always celebrate the amazing man that he was, the amazing visionary that he was. And I want to celebrate him in a very special way in this room right now. You go to a lot of events and people say, turn off your cell phones. Don't record this. Don't do anything. No, 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 no. That's not how this sport works. Because we want to spread the dream around the world. And when you dream, it gets dark. Really dark. but I need you to light it up. Because what's amazing about the Bassmaster dream is it's planted in all of us and it grows just like this is growing right now, just like Ray's dream grew. I need everybody in this room to light this room up and let's celebrate the amazing Mr. Ray Scott. Get loud for Ray Scott, ladies and gentlemen, and the legacy that he brought us. An incredible, don't stop, keep the noise going. It was Ray Scott. He would always do it and I'm gonna do it in his name. Let me hear it from you, A team. Let me hear it from you, B team. If you've ever loved Bassmaster, let me hear it from you, ladies and gentlemen. We are moments away from somebody finally touching this trophy. This trophy was on the dock this morning. It walked past all of our anglers, none of them would touch it. Not until they got an opportunity to own it. We have six anglers that we're bringing up here in a few minutes, but before we bring them up, we need to bring up our tournament leader right now and we need to load our hot seat. John, I'll give you the honors. Thank you, sir. Please welcome, from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, Jay Shepkirin! Pretty, pretty cozy spot you got there. Yeah, this is a nice chair. I'd like to sit here for a while, hopefully, but We'll see what happens. The long, you know how it works. The longer you sit there, the more you make. That is true. Hopefully we can slide past a couple anglers and then the big dogs come up and we'll see what happens from there. Are you guys ready to meet our anglers? More importantly, Jay, are you ready for me to bring these anglers in? Yeah, let's bring them in. You guys ready to do it? 
John, who do we got first? We got from Bowmanville, Ontario, Cooper Gallant! This young Canadian superstar is trying to keep the title north of the border. Hard to believe he was in that spot the last time we were here. And now he's right in the center stage at 33 pounds and three ounces. 16, 15, 14 pounds, nine ounces. So Jay Securet remains your leader. But Cooper Gallant in his second classic, a super six appearance. Get loud for Cooper Gallant. Coop, look at all those kids, those amazing folks in our splash well, our live well. You were part of all of that. And now you're right here in the center of the biggest stage in professional bass fishing. Not gonna take the title this time, but man, if that motivated you, what has this done for you? Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Like you said, Dave, I said it on day one of the tournament when I was up here. I, uh, the first classic I went to was here in 2016. Just like these kids here, any, any kids in the crowd, and I dreamt of being on this stage one day. And I just wanted to say it again, I know there's a lot of new kids here today as well. If you want to be up on this stage, you can do it, 100%. Um, Bass Nation, that's where I started. I joined a local, local bass club back home, Ontario Bass Nation, and that's how I got into it, Fish of Nation stuff. And I uh, was fortunate to fish with a lot of, a lot of great people back home. And, and then slowly started coming down south and grinding away down here, fish the Bassmaster Opens. Now we're on the elites on this classic stage. It's an absolute dream come true. And you hear it from all of us, but it's true. This is not possible without the support from our sponsors, our family, our friends. My parents are here, my brothers, friends, family. Love you guys. Big shout out to my brother Colin. He's been filming this whole week as well as my dad. My dad travels with me all season long on the Bassmaster Elite Series and uh, films and documents it all for my YouTube channel. Uh, all the behind the scenes stuff, on the water stuff, and uh, it's awesome having dad travel with me when I'm on the road. But it's even more awesome being up on this stage and we're gonna work our butt off this year on the Elites to try and make it back up here. But man, it's been an incredible week. I love Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you know, after practice, practice was brutal and kind of just figured out day by day. Struggled a little bit today. I was hoping to do a bit better, but I'm on the classic stage. Dream come true. Thank you, everyone. This is an awesome crowd. All I have to say is thank you. It means the absolute world. Congrats on a great tournament. One down, Jay. Let's keep them rolling, John. We've got another angle of queued up from Lincoln to North Carolina. Give a big round of applause to Hank Cherry! A proven big game player. Came very close to winning his very first Bassmaster Classic. Right here. Oh boy. At 33 pounds, 11 ounces as of this morning. Needs 16.7 to take the lead. Looking for 16 pounds, 7 ounces. 15 pounds, 9 ounces. With 49 pounds, 4 ounces. Hank Cherry not going to take the lead, but another great performance on the biggest stage in bass fishing. Hank, 49 pounds, four ounces, sitting in fifth place, man. I, I, I said it so many times, but you are a big game performer. The bigger the event, the more you show up, and uh, another classic in the Super Six. Yeah, you know, this place is wonderful. You know, I started my career here, but... Before I get into all that, I got to thank all my sponsors, my family, my friends, the fans. 
You're the reason why I do this. I have the great supporting cast of sponsors. I have the best family in the world. Um, it was a grind today. It didn't go the way I planned it to be, but I just kind of turned that off and went fishing, and I went everywhere. You could have seen me surfing the waves down by the bluffs on the lower end. I was all over the place, but I finally put it together with a lost fish. I said, I know where I need to go, and what do I do? Tank style, I run to the bridge. And I go to well, well and on them. My boat looks like a massacre. There's blood everywhere because they were spoiling the crankbait. I just ran out of time. I could have, I could have cranked up. But um, you know, you guys are great. I started my career here. Uh, you know, and unfortunately, if we don't come here very again in the near future, this will probably be the last time I cross this stage in Tulsa. And I wanted to tell you all, thank you for the support. It's, uh, it's been a crazy 11 years, and um, I'm not done yet, but I've got a lot more weigh-ins in my past and in my future. My family's important, being a dad's important, and uh, You know, all the, all the talk and the hubbub about forward-facing sonar has kind of taken over the fishing industry. You know, I work for Garmin, by far the best electronics on the market. Uh, but everybody in this room that loves fishing, your first forward-facing sonar was a bobber with a cricket underneath it. And when it went down, you knew you had to have a bite. So look, I'm here to tell you, if you want a Garmin, get one. If you want one of the electronics, get one. Fish is more to that. It's more than electronics. It's about you, nature, and what the good Lord gave you to go catch. So I'm going to say this, and I say it every time, and it may, may not be the last time you hear it on this stage. The men and women of our military that protect us so I can do this imaginary job chasing fish around the country. Thank you for your service. Without you, none of this would be possible. I'm just an old, old redneck boy with a dream since I was three years old of being on this stage. I've won this tournament twice. I've been to Super Six, four out of eight classics. Uh, it's pretty damn good if I say myself, you know? Um, but I, I couldn't have done any of this without Jack. She's the rock. I love you, babe. Let's hear it for Hank Cherry, ladies and gentlemen. A champion both on and off the water. We've got an angler standing by from Salisbury, North Carolina, Brandon Card! Classic, the 2012 Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. Had 34 pounds and four ounces. Jay Shakira looks very comfortable in her Bass Pro Shops hot seat. Needs 15 pounds, 14 ounces. Looking for 15, 14. Started the day with 34 pounds and four ounces. Fish has got no Abdullah Oblongata. It's a little ornery right now. 12 pounds, four ounces, with 46 pounds, eight ounces. Jay Secura gets more and more comfortable in our Bass Pro Shops hot seat. But let's celebrate another great performance by Brandon Card. Forty-six pounds, eight ounces. Uh, not going to win this time, but man, I know you're a huge fan of bass, uh, and you were your whole life. You once weighed in to the Bassmaster, the original Bassmaster theme song. I know how important that video and these moments are to you. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I actually asked them to weigh into that song this year, but I asked a little bit too late. So uh, maybe next year we'll bring it back. But uh, yeah, it's just incredible. You know, I met Ray Scott 
when I was a little boy, we had a Bass Nation championship in Knoxville, Tennessee. And just the, just the joy that he has for bass fishing, just that he inspired everybody that, that, that he, you know, that would meet him. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank Bassmaster. I want to thank, uh, I just want to thank all you guys. Dave, appreciate you. Just, uh, you know, y'all are keeping Ray Scott's legacy going and inspiring all these kids. Thank you very much for the kind words. And, and uh, man, we get right back to getting back here next couple weeks in Florida. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know, the work, the work never stops. But uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my family. They're up there. I love you guys. Thank you all for all your support. Uh, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for giving me the opportunity. Yeah, just, it's just such a blessing just to be here. I'm just very humbled to be here. And uh, I couldn't do it without him. You know, he just paved the way for me to be, to, he paved the way for me to be here. Um, but yeah, just want to thank uh, all my sponsors. I can't, I can't do what Lee Livesey did and name them all. I would just draw a blank. So, just everybody on my jersey, I love y'all. Y'all treat me like family. I really appreciate all the sponsor support. And um, I know I'm, I know I'm forgetting something, but uh, man, this crowd is awesome. Yeah, just uh, being a part of Super Six, just an uh, awesome, awesome experience, for sure. Well, let that fuel you in the future. We'll see you back here. Let's hear it for him one more time, ladies and gentlemen. And as he congratulates our leader, this is pretty cozy over here. Who's, our, who's the next angler that's coming up? It's, he's a young guy, very, very, very new to this. But Rick Clun did tell us, like, before he even got here, that you better watch out for Cody Hop. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this one. Well, the bass track, let's just say, we talked in the parking lot, the bass track is not true at all. So this is gonna be a lot closer than expected. Well, we're gonna find out how close it's gonna be. Three down, three to go. Who do we got next? From Ava, Missouri, please welcome Cody. Half. His third Bassmaster Classic, a former Bassmaster College champion. Oh boy, started the day with 36 pounds and four ounces. Needs 13 pounds, 14 ounces. 14 pounds, three ounces. Cody Huff moves into the lead with 50 pounds and seven ounces. A brand new Bass Pro Shops daily leader. Get loud for Ava Missouri's Cody Huff. With that, we say goodbye to Jay Securit. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. And we say hello to Cody Huff. How much fun is this? Man, you can't beat it. This is, uh, this is what dreams are made of. This is what we all live for. And man, without all these crazy people out here that like these slimy green fish, we couldn't do this. Well, you are doing it, and you are two anglers away from a lifelong dream. We've talked a lot about dreams here in the last little while. When did this dream start for you? You know, I remember being a little kid watching Rick Klun wind a man on Sunday mornings before we went to church. And I'm telling you, it's just been something that's been in my blood since I, 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 since I can remember, you know? So, uh, you know, I don't think we're gonna pull it off this week, but uh, this kind of makes you real hungry for the next one. Hungry indeed, and, uh, and a great finish, regardless of how this shakes out. How did you do what you accomplished this week? You know, I had a really, really fun week. 
I fished dirt shallow all week. I probably didn't weigh a fish in deeper than four or five feet all week. So it was kind of fun getting to big line them a little bit. And uh, man, I just love Grand Lake. I've not been here much, but I'm a big fan. But uh, hey, big thank you to all my sponsors, Bass Pro Shops, for putting this on and uh, just for taking care of me and, and all the rest of the companies that support me. And, and especially that, uh, that big family up there and all the folks from Ava, Missouri that made the big haul today to come see me. I love you guys and uh, man, maybe we'll make a run at this again. Thanks guys. It's gonna be a fun show and you have the best seat in the house, our Bass Pro Shops hot seat. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. And John, two more to go, keep them rolling. You want me to bring another one out? Let's do it from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, Adam Rasmussen. His very first Bass Master Classic qualified from the St. Croix Bass Master opens a win and you're in, and that's exactly what he did. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. At 36 pounds, 15 ounces as of this morning. He is looking for 13 pounds and nine ounces. 18 pounds, five ounces, 18.5 with 55 pounds, four ounces. He is leading the Bass Pro Shops, a Bass Master Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. Let's hear it. Adam. Wow, Adam, what a, what a tournament you have had. This is your first Bassmaster Classic, and I would say that so far it, it's, it's gone pretty darn good. Yeah, man, this is awesome. Uh, I'd like to say I hope I win this one so I can come back next year, <laughs> but uh, definitely going to figure out a way to get back here soon. Um, Unreal week. Uh, just a uh, shout out to all my family, friends, fans. Without you guys, this is impossible for me, so thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> shout out to my sponsors, too. I'm not going to name them all off, but Man, out in that wind today, I had my quest, Minn Kota quest on 80 all day long, running brush pile to brush pile. Thing flies along, saves me time from getting down in the driver's seat and idle into the next one. So huge time saver, running on my powerhouse lithium batteries. They make some awesome stuff, check them out. Uh, I run that 16 volt powerhouse and my Mega Live is super clear and clean and I can see everything on it. So. Big shout out to them and Crush City. This is the third tournament that I've done really well in. I've won two on their baits. Um, caught them all on again this week. An incredible tournament, no matter what way this shakes out. With that, we say goodbye to Cody Huff. Don't go there won't be much time. That, that seat is hot, but there's not much time. You can have a seat. Enjoy it. It's, it's, it's beautiful pleather. You guys ready for the guy who's led this tournament since day number one? Unbelievable, the last angler here from Northport, Alabama, Justin Hamner! It all comes down to this. Two anglers remain, and the most iconic trophy in professional fishing. Oh boy, double guns loaded, bang, bang. Hamner trying to go wire to wire in only his second Bassmaster Classic. Come on up here, Adam, we'll get you guys side by side. We are gonna have a incredible champion, whatever way this works out. Started the day with 42 pounds and six ounces. He needs 12 pounds, 15 ounces. 
15 pounds, 13 ounces, and 2024 is Hamner time! 2024 is Hamner time! Wire to wire domination. Wire to wire domination from cutting lawns to mowing down the competition. He is the world champion of professional bass fishing. How about that? Let's go! This is awesome. Everything that I've done to get us here, it's unreal. This has been such a special week. The things that happen just to be here and then let alone, this week has just been phenomenal. I mean, I got to fish how I like to fish. I was confident every day. Didn't get stressed out till about two o'clock today, and then I couldn't, I don't know if I've breathed since then. I just wanna thank the good Lord who has truly blessed me this week. <laughs> Had friends drive all the way from Alabama all night. Got my wife and my little girl, <laughs> the crap that I put them through just to be here. <sighs> we did it. <laughs> you told me last week you watched Jay Ellis win this title, and that has driven you to be here. There is thousands, if not millions, of little Justin Hamner's watching this right now, that you're going to drive them to achieve this goal. How long have you waited to hoist that title? Literally since I was eight years old. Don't think that you can't come from whatever it takes to be right here. I mean, four years ago, I quit a pretty good job just to go work full-time pouring concrete during the day to get off work, start my damn lawn care business, be out of town the rest of the time, to, to doing whatever it took just to be right here. And the people that have supported me along the way took a chance on me when I was nobody. I wasn't that social media guy. I just like bass fishing. That's all it is. I don't think you're cutting lawns anymore. I hope I never see a blade of grass for the rest of my life. <laughs> and how ironic you win this Bassmaster Classic title on a body of water that does not have any grass in it. Are you ready to get the handoff? Please, can we just get the done with the talking? I'm not good at it. Well, let's bring up our 2023 champion, Jeff Gustafson, to do the handoff. A great champion reign. The 2024 is Hamner time! The 2024 Bass Pro Shops Bass Master Classic belongs to Justin Hamner. From cutting lawns to mowing down the competition, Justin Hamner, your 2024 Bass Master Classic champion. Justin Hamner goes from cutting lawns a year ago to mowing down the competition in 2024. And 2024 is Hamner time.
Justin Hamner, the world champion of professional bass fishing. You told me a week and a half ago you were gonna win this, and you did it. I like this trophy. <laughs> it, it, it looks good on you. I ain't giving it up. No, no, you don't have to, but you didn't win it alone, did you? You won it with the incredible support of your family. They believed in your dream. You believed in your dream. You believed in Ray Scott's dream. And now, this is a dream come true. I'd like to bring out his family right now. His beautiful wife, Christina, mom and dad, It is a family affair. A week and a half ago, two weeks ago, this family seemed so close to winning an Elite Series event on Lake Fork, and now he is the world champion of professional bass fishing. How hard has he worked? So hard. It's weird hearing me, I'm sorry. <laughs> so hard, it's been crazy. He's sacrificed so much. Well, you guys have all worked so hard. You guys have all supported him. And for the rest of your life, you are a Bassmaster Classic champion before he takes the most iconic ride in professional fishing and does a victory lap, and all of Tulsa, Oklahoma celebrates him. That's what life's all about right there, ladies and gentlemen. Justin, before you load in that boat, break it down. Bates, how did you do this? Because his mother brought him Milo's tea this morning. <laughs> we, we, we have done our best. Um, if anybody knows somebody from Milo's, I think he's a pretty good news spokesperson, wouldn't you guys think? I mean, it's almost an unnatural love affair with this particular iced tea every time I talk to you, but it fueled you to the top of this sport. You dang right it did. Woo! I mean, I caught all my fish, you know, I was throwing a jerk bait. I, everybody knows, if you ain't figured it out now, I like a jerk bait. Throwing a bunch of different kinds. I mean, I, I caught a few on a Missouri crankbait up shallow, caught some on a jig. I mean, it was, you know, kind of junk fishing one on one, but keeping that jerk bait in my hand was key. I just want to thank everybody that supported me. I mean, the bass tank that rigs my boat, I depend so much on my electronics, and having it done right just means a ton. Those garments, they are dialed in. But to that bait fuel stick, if y'all haven't checked that out yet, go get you some bait fuel stick. And in the back of my boat, I have the X2 power batteries, never have to worry about a thing. <sighs> Dude, this is just unreal. I just won the Bassmaster Classic. <laughs> yes, you did, and he did it in style. Wire to wire domination. 2024 is Hamner time. Your 2024 Bassmaster Classic champion. Let's load the boat and take the most iconic lap in professional bass fishing. A family affair, and the Hamner family loads up. The 2024 Bass Pro Shops Bass Master Classic belongs to Justin Hamner. 2024 is Hamner time!
Thank you to our friends from TNT Fireworks for this champion celebration. And thank you to Tulsa, Oklahoma, the third time the Classic is decided in the beautiful BOK Center. And I would say a fitting champion, wire-to-wire -wire domination. A year ago, he was cutting lawns, and now he is mowing down the competition, the best there is in 2024. Justin Hamner, the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic Champion. Big bass, big stage, big dreams. A dream that was planted in him by Jay Yellis, and now we have seen it bloom right in front of your very own eyes. The ultimate prize in professional bass fishing belongs to Justin Hamner. Your 2024 Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic Champion We started with 56, 25 went out today, and now there is one. That one is your 2024 Bassmaster Classic Champion. Proving once again, if you believe it, you can achieve it. We're doing Snow Angels. Tulsa, Oklahoma, what a host community. An incredible classic, and you guys made it what it was. The World Championship of Professional Bass Fishing in 2024 is officially Hamner time. He is your Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic Champion. A lifelong dream comes true right in front of the masses here at the BOK Center and the millions watching around the world. On behalf of the entire Bassmaster family, we want to thank each and every one of you that supported this classic, that supported this dream. And I can't wait to watch it unfold. Justin Hamner, our brand new reigning Bassmaster Classic champion. And I would say the sport has got a good one. All right, if everybody can move away from the vehicle, there is a large, beautiful Toyota Tundra. And move away from it, please. 
He will make his way backstage. His night is just getting started. For the next 365 days, he is the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic Champion. And once again, 2024 is Hamner time. Big bass, big stage, big dreams. And you saw it happen right in front of your very eyes. Tulsa, Oklahoma, you guys have been awesome. And if I have anything to do about it, we'll be back here real soon. What a classic city and a classic group of fans. Thank you.